Welcome viewers to our Shop Technomag YouTube video and we are so much excited to be at 10 World Primary School where we are witnessing yet another interesting development and this time around it is 3D printing beating Zimbabwe for the first time. To join us with this short interview we've got Shane. Shane? Yes. Thank you so much for taking your time to have us right here. Thank you Sandra, how are you? I'm doing well. How's been your day? Very good, thank you. Thank you all. Okay, so we are for the first time ever witnessing I'll be honest, I've never seen a 3D printer in my whole entire life. So this is the first time I've ever seen it coming here to Zimbabwe. And we need to understand your story, guys. First, before we jump to this 3D printer, who are you and what's going on here? Sure. Well, Tundra, we are a company called Level Up Village. Mm -hmm. um, the company is based in America. And essentially what the company does is we connect children one-to-one -one mm -hmm. through global collaboration. So we're a global education company and we use video collaboration to connect children here in Zimbabwe with a student in America. And the students are able to work together and do all sorts of different projects. So we have our 3D printing project, we have a global web design project, we have a literature project, all sorts of different courses that the, the schools here in Zimbabwe can get involved in and be able to connect their students and start teaching their, their students to learn globally. That is our main goal, is to to really get children to think globally, to think outside the box. I think one of the big things is if if our children don't go overseas, overseas comes to us. And it's very important to get the children thinking globally and learning globally. So uh, as level, level up, um Level Up Technology? Level Up Village. Level Up Village. Uh, where else are you guys except this uh, uh, school? So we're in over 350 schools around the world and over 40 different countries. So the primary school is always in America. It's America to the rest of the world. We're in schools in Australia and Haiti and all over South America, the UK, all over the world really. There's no How about in Zim? Where, where else are you guys besides here? We're in seven different schools in Zimbabwe. So Tin World was one of our first. We're very proud. Tin World is actually one of the biggest in, in the world. We have the most students in Tin World. Um, we're in Gateway, we're in Sharon, we're in Petra, we're in Goldridge, Wiseau, plenty of schools and there's a lot more in the signing process. Okay, break it down to a layman, exactly when you're saying you're in this school, what exactly are you guys really doing there? So we have connected classrooms in these schools to classrooms in, in other parts of the world or in America. And in these schools, each school has chosen a different project. At Groombridge, they've chosen the web design project, you know, which is all to do with whether it's teaching children about weather and then they can communicate with their partner in America about their different weather views and points of view. You know, the, all these hurricanes have just happened in America. So it's an amazing experience for our Zimbabwe students to now be able to, throughout that, that they design a web page with their partner and they can do something on the hurricanes and that web page will actually be up and functioning. So it just depends on what the school chooses. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what is your main primary objective once you came here? Like, he has never level up the village. What is your primary role? What are your achievements? What are your yeah? I think at the end of the day, we just want to see schools here growing outside the box. We want to see them focusing on your STEAM courses, focusing on your global collaboration. Um, and I think that will be very exciting, you know, to be able to bless schools with things like a 3D printer. It's all very exciting. Uh, how has that been? Uh, how has been the journey towards your, your target been so far? I know specifically talking to you is involved in based environment. How have you been successfully managing to implement what you guys want to do? I think it's been good so far, you know, with, with the way the government has gone, the government has brought in STEAM or STEM courses and it is now a requirement in most schools. So the schools are very receptive to this idea. The, one of the nice things is it's completely free. This program is completely free for the schools here in Zimbabwe and I think now that it's something that is required, schools really are accepting it and they really love the idea. They love the chance to push their kids, they love the chance to, to grow the school and to further it in something new. You, you answer the next question, you say it's free and I'll be asking, so uh, do we, are we also going to be expecting the same program to be going to the mainstream or uh, high density schools or is for the few elites? Uh, how are you running out this program? 
you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to use the word elite, because it's definitely not for just elite schools. Um, the, as the program is free, there are certain requirements that the school has to have. So the school will have to have the right infrastructure in order to be able to handle the program. Where the school has to have enough laptops, it has to have a good Wi-Fi connection, um, and it has to have willing teachers. That's a big thing. Teachers that are committed and dedicated. Um, and so as long as the school has those three things, we are willing to work with any school. Interesting. So for, for this institution or specifically Zimbabwe, how many students have are, or have been benefiting from this program? So let's say you any figures? At the moment in Zimbabwe we've got close to a thousand students. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, gadget that really made us come yes, here. Very exciting. <laughs> yes, very uh, what, what, what does it take and how much did this cost and who sponsored this or who paid for this kind of a gadget to be here in Zimbabwe? So, the way Level Up Village works is not only are we a free, pro free product, I don't want to say product, but we're a free course, we also will give every school that joins Level Up Village uh, we will give a $3 fund towards each student that passes through a course. So a course lasts eight weeks, you can run a course every term. So if you, like Tinwald, has run a course in every grade, um, every term. And so their technology fund has grown enough that we were able to buy and ship them. Alright, now let's talk about one thing that really got my excitement, the 3D print, I would say probably this is the first ever 3D print I've ever seen and maybe the first to hit Zimbabwe. What made this printer to come here? Well, it's a great question. This printer, what happens with Level Up Village is we commit to giving every school that joins the program a $3 technology fund to, for every student that goes through a course. So that can be saved up over a year, over two years, whatever you like. And depending on what the school would choose, they could choose iPads or laptops or a 3D printer. So Tinwald has chosen a 3D printer and we were able to save up their technology fund and buy this for them. So as long as the, as well as the program being free, we also bless the schools with some technology, which is a great, great benefit. Interesting, and these guys are so fortunate they've seen what we have never seen in our whole entire life. Amazing, amazing. Okay, great. So what, what, what can this thing really print? And what are you you guys looking forward to print from this uh, printer here? Yeah? Through the Level Up Village course, we were, we, our plan is to make flashlights and to teach the children they get to design the mold on their computer uh, and then it gets plugged into the 3D printer and it makes the flashlight. So I hear 3D printers can print almost anything. Almost anything. But people to print money. <laughs> <laughs> you can always try, it might be green though. <laughs> <laughs> so this is more or less of the paper or a cartridge, so to say. Exactly, so that would be essentially what the paper would be. So at the end you can design something like this. Okay. So and and this thing was actually printed by this printer? This, that was this to begin with, yeah. Wow. How big can I go with this printer? With this printer, it's a small, it's not, you can get much bigger printers, but with this printer you're looking at it like a 10 by 10 centimeter. Okay, great. Interesting. So our last words to our viewers who are watching the first big 3D printer to hit the Zimbabwe market. Any last words for our listeners, viewers, so to say? I think if there's anybody out there that's involved in the school or has kids in the school and you're interested in this program, please look us up. Feel free to look us up on the website or on Facebook, Level Up Village, and we are happy to come into any school around Zimbabwe. So if any school qualifies according to your uh, list of requirements, they can go just join this program? They can enjoy. You have it, and you have it right, you have the first time, please just turn up. Uh, you don't know, you may end up having a 3D printer or anything else much more fancy and interesting. Shane and Tonio, it's been a nice time having you guys watching us live. This is www.techmec.tv. Hope to see you soon next time. Thank you so much for joining us, right here. Thank you, Tandra. All right, great.